Greetings, Rattling. This is Avelia Song, and I'm your fuel rat for today. So you consider to join the fuel rats? Congratulations, Commander, because the fuel rats might be one of the most outstanding communities in the Elite Dangerous Universe. Fuel ratting is fun, exciting, high adrenaline levels at times, and great socializing with the other rats in the rat cave. Fuel ratting is quite easy and straightforward, but you have to master a certain set of tools to be able to cooperate with the other rats, with dispatch and with the clients. This guarantees our exceptional success rate of over 96% of all cases. I check with fellow overseers and rat veterans to offer you a good guide on how to become a fuel rat. Note that this guide is probably subject to change depending on the changes coming with the Odyssey upgrade and changes in rat registration. On structure, we will first see how you can get in touch with the Reds and see whether the community is something for you, then how you can register your commander as a potential fuel Red. After that, how you can set up your IRC client, in this case Hexchat, how a standard rescue is going and how you can get drilled. Warning. A word of warning, Redding is highly addictive. The first step is to see whether the rats are something for you. For this, go to our website, click on I need fuel and then click on the grey button. This will lead you to our online IRC client and to the channel Red Chat where you can socialize with the rats. When you have decided that rutting is for you, set up a fuel rats account at fuelrat.com with become a rat. The most important tool you will have to use is in fact outside the Elite Dangerous game. It is your IRC client of choice. Next step is setting up your own IRC client, in this case Hexjet. The procedure should be quite similar with other IRC clients as well. You will find a comprehensive guide how to set up your IRC client on our Confluence website. When adding the fuelreds.com server to your IRC, be sure to add the correct port number as shown in our online guide. You will need the login credentials from fuelreds.com, commander name and password to associate your IRC nickname with your fuelreds.com account. This will ensure that you can fill out paperwork and that your rescues are recorded. Now add a nickname. This should be a commander name with a platform you are using like PC, Xbox or PS4 as an addendum. In IRC setup, after entering the server login details, commander name, password and so forth, you may set your IRC client to auto-join the channels Fuel Rats and Red Chat. Note, this is important, the channel Fuel Rats is only reserved for rescue, it is not for chatting. If you want to chat with the other rats and know some details, then you are welcome to chat away in Red Chat. You should only write in the Fuel Rats channel when you are on an active rescue. Watch the rescues flowing by in Fuel Rats. In Fuel Rats you will see a rat with a tag named Dispatch. This is the person directing the rescues and directing the rats and assigning rats to rescues. Then you will see the rats, mostly with their platform as an addendum to their nickname and you will see the clients chatting by. And also, you will see from time to time Mecha Squeak saying something that's our automated digital red, so to speak, giving some instructions. Most important is the red signal. When a red signal comes in, a client is asking for fuel and is in trouble. Do not react. It's dispatch's job to react to a red signal and coordinate the rescue. More on that later. One word on clans and cats. The fuel rats do not pick sides. We do not fight. We might fight back if attacked, but usually we should just run. We are rats. And remember, the fuel rats are only fuel rats while on a rescue. We are not picking sides, as said. We are not on revenge missions and we do not feed the cats and the griefers out there. We are here to run and rescue only. Now when you have decided to go for the Snickers and become a real rat, add ND as a tag to your nickname in IRC. After that, read the instructions for how to become a rat in our confluence. 
be sure to become familiar with our commands like FR for friend request or WR for wing request or BC for beacon and stuff like that because you will have to use those abbreviations regularly when on a rescue and you will have to understand what the other reds are telling dispatch. When you have understood the communication flow in fuel reds, then it's time for you to equip a proper red chip. For the start, a fuel limpet controller and some limpets are all you need to become a redling. But to become a proper fuel red and be assigned more often by dispatch to rescues, you will need a better prepared red chip. There are some recommendations in my other fuel red chip build video, so check them out and patch your red runner together. Now it's time for action! Even as an undrilled rattling, dispatch might assign you to rescues and though it would be better to be accompanied by an experienced rat for the first times, it might well be that you have to head out on your own to a client, if for example there are not so many rats online. If you are unsure, notify dispatch that you want some support and they will happily provide you with an experienced rat. We'll come to the workflow in a minute. Now allow me to quickly summarize the rescue procedure. First of all, the red signal comes in, which means client in danger, someone needs our fuel and our help. Now dispatch will issue some commands to the client to prepare for the rescue. After he has prepped the client, you can call your jumps. So check the galaxy map, how far the client is away, you will find the client system uh, in the red signal and also you will find information on which platform the client is actually on. Do not call jumps if you are on the wrong platform, because Xbox or PS3 clients can't be saved if you are on a PC and vice versa. So check the client's platform first. If you call jumps but are on the wrong platform, then inform dispatch that you are standing down. Now wait until dispatch assigns the reds for the rescue. If you are not assigned, then do not head for the client and do not communicate in fewer reds until the next case comes in. If you are assigned, then start heading away for the client. Dispatch will now issue orders to the client to send friend requests to you and your fellow reds. Do not use friend requests yourself, please. When you have received and accepted the friend request, Notify dispatch by typing FR plus in the fuel reds channel that you have received the client's friend request. After the friend request, dispatch will ask the client to invite you to a wing. Again, do not invite the client to a wing by yourself, but let dispatch do the calling. There are some cases where reds can self dispatch, but we do not encourage this unless there is a high caseload and you are very experienced reds. So wait for the call of dispatch. When you have received the wing request of the client, accept it and tell dispatch that you have received the wing request by typing in the case number again and WR+. Activate your navlock on the client after you have received the wing request and are in wing with the client. After that, dispatch will tell the client to light their wing beacon and then you will be able to navlock on the client's ship. Notify dispatch by typing BC plus and the case number and then head for the wing beacon without actually targeting the wing beacon. You will see it on your HUD but do not target it then you will be faster. Your ship will automatically drop at the client's location as soon as you are in range. So you do not have to approach it like you usually approach stations and such. Extend your landing gear that you do not accidentally boost into the client. Target the client by pressing G until you see the client's name in your info screen and shoot away your fuel transfer limpet. Wait until you get the message transfer complete. This means that your client has received the fuel. It does not mean that he or she is able to reach the next refueling station, but that a code red, for example, is impossible, so the client won't run out of fuel now and suffocate because of no oxygen. That's the most important part. After that, type in IRC again, fuel plus with the case number, and dispatch will give you a link where you can fill out paperwork. In the paperwork, just set the rescue to successful, 
type in some special information about the case, check whether the other informations are correct and hit send. That's on the FuelRed's website again. As said, you will receive the link by dispatch through IRC. If another RED has been faster than you and refueled the client first, then you won't have to do paperwork or the debrief. But if you are the one shooting the first successful limpet, then your job isn't over yet. Please see to it that the client stays with you for a while. First of all, let them check whether they can reach a target system with a station, outpost or another possibility to refuel. After that, tell them to power up their shields again so that they are minimally protected at least. And then do a proper debrief. When you feel familiar with rescues and with all the communications stuff, then it might be time for a drill. All our RETs should be drilled and especially the dispatchers, though in high times there are often undrilled RETs or even spatchers out there. But believe me, it is much better to have a drill and to know what you are doing. Some people think it's pretty easy and are just going on the rescues, but as a result they are endangering clients who then only suffer the fate of a cold death instead of a rescue. And we do not want that, do we? Also, a drill is fun, so just do it. Well, we will keep some secrets to ourselves here, sorry. Because a drill is a simulation of a real case and you shouldn't just copy over what you see here to your own drill. You should understand the SOP and you should understand the procedure and show that when the test is running. So be prepared for surprises. Submit a drill request on the website and ask in red chat for an overseer who might have time to supervise your drill. The drill will be documented and if you succeed you are now registered as a full-blown fuel rat. Welcome to the pack! If you happen to fail then overseer will tell you in detail why you didn't succeed with your drill and will ask you to do a drill again later when you have trained. And now Welcome, Red. You have done your first successful rescue. Welcome to the pack. Chat away with the Reds. Have fun and enjoy this fantastic community. And welcome to check out the Fuel Red Arthur's Collective website where you will find tons of Rattatoons, cartoons, Red Tails, much more 3D printing model Reds and more. Enjoy the community. Don't forget the Snickers, especially the almond ones, and be careful about cats. This was a value song. Frag Curator, Overseer and Dispatch and Red Veteran from 3301. Fly Safe Commander and happy refueling with the Red.